I'm so excited you joined us today for our at-home enrichment activity. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make face paint from items you have in your very own kitchen. Let's get started. To make our face paint, you're going to need five common household items. First up is cornstarch. We also need some face lotion and washable paint, any color you have, or we can also use food coloring. Next, you'll need a little bit of vegetable oil, and last but not least, flour. Let's get started. We're gonna mix all of our dry ingredients first. So I'm gonna make a small batch by using just a quarter of a cup scoop of cornstarch. That same amount of flour. And face lotion. Once you have that all together, go ahead and take a spoon and mix it up. All right, once you mix it up a little bit, you can go ahead and add some of the paint to whatever color you want. If you want it to be really bright, put a ton of paint in. If you want it to be more of a lighter color, only add a little bit. We're gonna stir this up until all of our ingredients start to blend together. And I'm using a Tupperware for easy storage and also for on the go, so I can bring it to all my little friends this week. But as this starts mixing together, we're also gonna add in the vegetable oil. We're only going to put in a fourth teaspoon of vegetable oil. Measure just a little bit and keep on mixing. If you wanted to make um, a little bit of a thinner paint, you can also add some water. Almost finished mixing. It's starting to look like the right consistency. I ended up adding a splash of water to smooth it out. If you feel like it's too thick, you can add some water. And if it's too thin, add a little bit more cornstarch to get it to that right paint consistency. Guys, we did it! Our paint is ready to go. If you wanna make more than one color, just go ahead and repeat the recipe with your food coloring or paint of your choice, washable paint of your choice. Um, to do that, you will need to just make a fourth cup of cornstarch, fourth cup of face or body lotion, a fourth cup of flour, and a fourth teaspoon of vegetable oil. And then go ahead and add water to make it uh, thinner for that right texture and consistency. All right, now that I have my paint, I'm ready to go make my masterpiece. Let's see what I can do. Voila! You don't need talent to have some fun. <laughs> I made myself a butterfly and I bet you can do better than I did. Oh no, we're all dressed up and we have nowhere to go. Don't worry, here are some ideas of what you can do with your beautiful creation. First, pick your favorite story and transform yourself into your very favorite character. Or you can work on pretend play skills with whatever you turned your masterpiece into. This paint also works on paper for art projects or in the bathroom for some fun messy play. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Parents, you might be wondering about cleanup. I get it, look at my face. You should see my counters. But a little bit of mess means a whole lot of fun and the memories are well worth the cleanup. The cleanup's pretty easy too. They're all household items that can be cleaned up with warm soapy water and that coveted paper towel right now or a makeup wipe. Don't forget to tag us in your creations. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.